Thanks. Well, the Grain Valley teacher charged with eight felony counts was first investigated by the school district four years ago. Now, but the report filed then did not cite a specific student or incident. Beth Vaughn is live outside the school where Matthew Nelson taught. Beth? Yeah, hi, Mark. The district is educating parents tonight on how to successfully report suspicious behavior or abuse claims. Doubt and regret plague the Grain Valley School District on the day after Matthew Nelson's charges were doubled to eight felony counts. I think there are a lot of people that are feeling uh, awful about, you know, what, what should I have seen? Should I have noticed something? Should I have done something different? But instead of looking back, Assistant Superintendent Brad Welly is trying to look forward. Be specific, be clear, um, be assertive. And, and make sure that you're being heard. It's sick. Last night, we interviewed a mother who told 41 Action News she reported her suspicions about Nelson's behavior anonymously five years ago. Then this year, she fought to keep her second grader out of his classroom. And today, we learned from the district that an accusation was made against Nelson as recently as four years ago to the Missouri School Violence Hotline. The report was investigated and documented, but until last month, Nelson remained in the classroom. There's a lot of reflection right now, and, and there's, there, there's a lot of tough feelings about, um, you know, what if anything might have been done different. But we have to remember these are still allegations. Allegations in a place where children should always be safe. If a parent has concerns um, that their needs are not being met or that the issue is not being addressed, there's always another level. Bring it up the chain of command, make sure your concerns are in writing, expect a response in writing. Well, he said the newly enacted Amy Hester Act changed the way districts handle abuse claims. In the past, a district would be responsible for substantiating claims through an investigation. But now, uh, as of this year, they hand the allegations straight over to police, which is a very different procedure than when they had in 2008. We're live in Grain Valley tonight. Beth Vaughn, 41 Action News. Well, this is a difficult subject for parents to talk about with their kids. If you suspect any kind of child abuse, we have the signs to look for and some tips on how to react on our website, KSHB.com, under Scene on 41.